Hello everybody, today we're going to read our diaries number seven, The Wildwood Baker Bee. Chapter one. Well, hello there, Sunday. Hello, diary. Did you miss me? It's me, Eva Windell. I wonder what exciting adventure we'll have this week. I love Granny, Granny Alberta's cookies, the world's bubble, saving up my moon daughters, funny jokes, squirrels, baby most laugh, helping others, Winnie and Wimbo. I do not love stinky cheese, rain clouds, baby most cry, clean my room, Washing my wings before I eat the word gray. Mom's luck stew. Losing at wind ball. <clears throat> my family is flapper -vific. Here is a picture of us on warm hostage. Dad, Mom, me, baby Mom, Humphrey. We all, we all love Baxter, my cute pet bat. I am so lucky to be an owl. Owls do the best stuff. <clears throat> we are awake when the sun has gone to bed. We fly like superheroes. We make super loud hoot sounds. And we hatch out of eggs when we are chicks. <clears throat> this is my tree house. I live and next door to my best friend. Friend ever Lucy Beekman. We sit together in Mrs. Fairbottom's class. Here is our class photo. Jacob, Mrs. Fairbottom, <clears throat> George, Lily, Zach, Carlos, Lucy, Zara, me, Macy, Haley, Sue, Kiara. I can't wait to see all my friends at school tomorrow. Better get some sleep. Good day, darling. <clears throat> Chapter 2, wing, The Wing Chair Plan. Monday, today Mrs. Fairbottom asked us each to share something what we did over the weekend. I played cards with Granny Alberta and Grandpa Alfred. I made a model of the Owl Prey State Building. I sweat a new dress with my, my mom's help. I took the photo of the sunset. I visited my big brother in Aula Lamo City. I ate at the Owlton restaurant. I went to the feather dresser. I made flower I made a flower fairy costume for my pet lizard Rex. I baked a dad a birthday cake. I read I read the new owl ninja book. I practiced playing my owl phone. Owl phone. I went to Brown Bear Mall with my little sister May. We brought her a school bag. Wow, well, Macy, I didn't know your sister was starting school. Mia is so. Uh, Mia is starting. School preschool next week. She can't wait. She's worried though because she can't like she can't fly like everyone else. So she was born with wings that are too small. Why doesn't she have a wing chair to help her get around? They're very expensive. Mom and dad just don't have enough moon dollars. Then just then I have a fantastic idea. We could use, we could all raise the money for Mia's, Mia's wheelchair. That's, uh, that Eva, that's a splendid idea. Class, your homework tonight is to think about the best fun, fun raising idea. After school, Lucy came over. We, and we baked cookies and then I had another fantastic idea, and so did Lucy, but, bo but both at the same time. 
Eva, I just come with with the best way to raise money. Me too. You first. No, you. Together, a bakery. I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell everyone our idea tomorrow. Chapter 3. Yummy Scrummy. Tuesday. School was a, such a hoot today. Diary. Mrs. Fairbottom asked us to share our fun raising ideas. We could sell our paintings. Everyone play, pays one moon dollar to wear pajamas to school. Stay away. Uh, a song. A magic show. A pet slough. A sweet shop. A teacher drunky booth, a photo booth, booth, a costume party, a, a treehouse window clean service, a bakery. Wow, these are ex, 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 excellent. It's hard to pick just one, but I'm going to pick two. And it might be because I'm hungry. But I would choose Sue's Sweet Shop and Sweet Sue's Sweet Shop idea and Eva and Lucy's Bakery idea. Yay! This half of the class will join Sue's group and half of will join Eva and Lucy's group. You will spend the week getting your shops ready. Both of the shops will be at our oak tree. And they will be open Saturday and Sunday. Together we'll raise money for Mia's Mia needs in no time. We all cheer. At lunch we set our groups. I heard Sue's team already has a name for their shop. What is it? Candy Crunch Corner. Wow, that's great. We'll think of an even better name for our shop. It took us ages. To came up with the name, Su Sugar Drinks, Flavorific Francis, The Nutty House, The Crazy Cake Canyon. I got it though, Wildwood Bakery. We all love the Macy's idea. Hey, I heard Sue's team has secret me meeting right now. If they're holding secret meetings, then we will too. We should have a secret password. Yes, what should it be? How about Yummy Scrummy? That's great. Next, we we made a list of everything we need to do before Saturday. One, design our shop sign. Two, make flowers for to arrange the shop. Three, bake cookies to sell. Four, decorate shop bag. Five, make garland for inside the shop. After school, we went to my tree house to bake, but the cookie butter didn't taste good, so we used it for food fight instead. We'll have to bake for real tomorrow. Chapter, chapter four, Granny to the rescue. Wednesdays, diary, sometimes Sue can't be nice. And sometimes Sue can be, well, Sue today, Sue is being Sue. We are going to sell so many of our super tasty candies. No one will have any, no one will have any money left to spend on your bakery. Don't be so sure, Sue. Our cookies are going to be big sellers too. During class, both team work on shop sign. Zach came up with ours. Wow, Zach, that's so cool. We, we clocked it to make our Wildwood Bakers membership cards. And we says, I called for a first secret Wildwood Bakery's meeting. Everyone showed their cards and said the password. It was such a hoot. We have a great bakery name and sign. Now we just need now we just need great cookies to sell. The cookie butter we made last night was well it was gross. We need something really special to sell in our shop. What can we bake? Granny Everyone looked at me 
like I was crazy. I just got the best idea. My granny is an excellent expert baker. I'm sure she will help us. Everyone who can come, bring flour and sugar to my granny's house tonight. Later, we told Granny and Britta and Grandpa and Fred about our shop. I love to help you raise money for me, me a special venture. And I have a fantastic recipe for cookies. Can I teach it to you now if you like? That would be was amazing. Thank you. We bake yummy cookies. Then Haley thought, thought she saw someone at the window. Look, we flew outside. No one was there, but Maisie found something. Hey, look at this. It's a member membership ship card. Someone from Candy Crunch Corner was here. They must be spying on us. We flew back inside. I bet they're trying to steal our ideas. We have to raise more money than them. Yes, we will have to win. Come down now. Let's try to not worry about what other hours are doing. Just do our best then. That's all any of us can do. Gwen is a very wise old owl. She ordered to do our best though. We need to raise then a cookie response. Granny, do you like Granny, do you really have a great cupcake recipe? I have one that is very special. She took a dusty recipe book down from the shelf. This is an old window family recipe. These dreamy, crummy carrot cupcakes are so good, it is impossible to just eat. Just eat one. Le legend has it that your great great grandma Winston once ate so many dreamy crummies that he couldn't fly for months. Dreamy crummy cap carrot cupcakes. One cup sugar, one cup flour, six bucks. A two acorns, one cup wild carrot. Mix everything. To get mix together the first four ingredients, share the carrots and stir them in. Pour bad butter into muffin pan. Bake for 30 minutes. Let cupcakes cool. Put loads of icing on top. Enjoy. Those cupcakes sound yummy. Can we bake them now? I'm I'm afraid not. I don't have any wild carrots. They're hard to find. Oh, Gran then Granny was part hard, but not impossible. It's too late tonight. Well, you when you can just follow the rabbits. Just don't let them see you because they won't like you taking their carrots. Dress up in dark clothes to say stay hidden. Everyone said goodbye to Granny and Grandpa. We then we all flew home. Diary tomorrow. Where we are going to find those wild carrots and bake those dreamy cook crummies. It's the only way we will win. Chapter 5 Ninja Carrot Hunters. Thursday. When we got to school, everyone was whispering about secret plans for the shop. Sue was listening in on us again. It made me a bit mad. I know you were spying us, us last night, Sue. Don't be silly, but why would I do that? We had the very best ideas for our shop. Well, we have the top, a top secret recipe now. So our shop is definitely going to win. We'll just see about that. Mrs. Bottom calls Sue and I over to her desk. Now, girls, let's remember the most important thing that your shops are raising money for Macy's little sister Mia. 
and her special chair. I don't want to hear any more talking about Winnie. I know I knew Mrs. Fedbottom was right, but I also still really wanted our shop to raise money, more money than Stu's. I called another secret Wildwood Bakery's meeting. I have to, we have to raise m as much money as possible. We have, that means we have to bake those dreamy crummies. We need to find those carrots. Meet at my treehouse after the school and remember where dark, clo dark clothes is. We should dress up and night ninjas. When we, when the wood wall bakery made up, we all look so cool. We all look so cool. We really do look like ninjas, ninja carrot hunters. Come on, let's, let's find a rabbit to follow. We flew around in the forest looking for a rabbit. There's one, quick, follow him. We, f we followed the rabbit into a piece of wild carrots. We hid in a tree and kept really quiet. What now? Do we just take their carrots? Their, those carrots are white carrots. Those, those, oh, those are wild carrots. They don't belong to the rabbits. But still, we should ask before taking them. We, I will go talk to the rabbits. Wait here. Excuse me, my friend. And I would like to pick your wild carrots to bake some cupcakes. Is that okay? Sure, thank you. We are actually bored of eating carrots. It's all we ever eat. Plant carrots all day long. What if I bring you some carrot cupcakes? Then some sounds yummy. Thank you. My friend flew down and we picked wild carrots together. Back at the treehouse, we baked the dreamy crummies. We baked so many that we used up all our sugar. That was our first ta taste taster. These cupcakes are flapperific. Can I have another? I think you've had enough. Granny said, did say that once never enough. Oh, go on then, but only if I can have one too. Diary, my bedroom is filled with Cup, cookies and cupcakes. Yum. Chapter 6. Emergency meeting. Friday. Hi, Dari. I cannot believe it's already Friday. Our shop opens tomorrow. At recess today, we have fun playing wind ball, but the next uniforms and balls are so old they fell apart. I know it's our school really needs new Wimbo stuff. I know, and it's too bad because my little sister loves Wimbo. It's one of her re reasons she is looking forward to starting school. Can Mia play Wimbo? Well, she can't fly, so she can't really play, but she is great at catching the ball. After Mia, Mia gets her winter, she will be able to play. You're right. That would be make her so happy. Do you really think our shops will make enough moon dollars for winter? They have to for me. Just then, Susan flew over. Is Wawa Bakery ready for the ground ground opening, Eva? Yes, thank you. What about Candy Crunch Corner? Of course, we've got the best logo. We've got the best candies. Our cookies are all amazing. Our candy can our our candy cans cannons are the best in the world. World on world. Then Sue says we pack our flyers, but we haven't seen any of yours. You will be lucky if you get one customer. 
Our, oh no, we should make, we should have make our flash days ago. I called an emergency meeting at lunchtime. We looked at our to-do list. There's still much, so much to do. How will we forget the, about the flyers? Now no one knows about our shop. My little sister Mia wants to help. Can she come? Don't don't worry. We'll get it all done. Let's meet after school. Okay, of course. We need all the help we can get. After school, we worked hard. Lucy and I made garlands. Zach and Haley made the flyers. George, Macy, and Mia decorate the bags. We are so, we were lucky Mia helped out. Thank you so much, Mia. You're great at, you're great at this. I love to draw. When we got everything ready in no time. We got everything ready in no time. Next, we flew around the forest. We left a flyer on every doorstep so everyone would know about our shop. I can't wait for tomorrow. Chapter 7 Cupcakes versus Candy. That's like superheroes versus versus villains. Saturday. I flew we flew to the old oak tree super early. We decorate our shops and put out the cupcakes and cookies. Customers were lined up outside our families and friends and neighbors were all there. Finally, it was time to open the shop. Oh, oh my diary, running a bakery is hard work. We had to get cupcakes and cookies for everyone. We, we had to back them up and we have to charge the right amount of moon dollars. I took a quick peek at Candy Crunch Corner. Sue's shop seems to have just as many owls in it as ours, so I wasn't sure who was winning. At the end of the night, we were closing up when disaster. We've run out of cupcakes and cookies. We don't have anything, anything, anything to sell tomorrow. That means Sue's team will win. Not enough. We bake more cupcakes and cookies tonight. But we don't have any sugar left and the grocery store is closed. Secret meeting now! We huddle together. Let's think, what can we do? We could ask Sue's team if we could borrow some sugar. They have lots of it for their candy respite. We can't ask them respite. We can't ask them, ask them for help. If we don't, we'll have to close our shop. And then Sue's team will win. Everyone was quiet. We were think, all thinking hard about this distance. If borrow sugar, decision, if it it if borrowing sugars help us raise more money and win, then we should do it. We flew to Candy Crunch Corner. Susie was in a flat just like we were. We run out of candy and bags. What are we going to do? We can't pick our candies without bags. We'll never. We will, we will never win now. What if we ask Eva and Lucy's team for bags? No way, we can't ask them for help. Just then we heard Mia's voice behind us. I don't think I want a winter anymore. I thought though these shops were supposed to be fun way to help me, but the, the two teams aren't even friends anymore. And you guys seem to want to do is win. Everyone feel bad. We have forgotten why we were doing this for in the first place. We also 
we had also forgotten we were all friends and friends help one another we're sorry Mia we were we will work together from now on sorry we uh, we tried to so hard to win so your shop really looks fantastic sorry we spied on your team even your cupcake looks super yummy I have an idea. Your shop needs bats and our shop needs sugar. Let's join together to make a sh super sugary sweet candy bake shop. That's a flappy, fabulous idea, Macy. Mrs. Fairbottom came to see how our shops had done their, in their first night. She counted up the moon dollars. Both shops did very well. So we that we have already raised enough money for Mia's wind chair. Wow, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Mia and her dad flew off. We are so thankful to you, Mia. Let's go buy your new wind chair. He told Mrs. Fairbottom our plan to put both shops together. She loved it. What will the money we raise tomorrow to, to go toward? I have an idea. It will be a surprise. Yay! We all flew to Sue's house to bake. We have a flapperific time. When we when I got home, Humphrey burst into my room. How's the bakery? You want to save any treats for me? Actually, I did actually. Here we go. Oh no, what is it? I forgot to take cupcakes to the rabbit who gave us the carrots. So sorry, I've made I so sorry I I have set my alarms for super early tomorrow. I am so tired. Chapter eight the wind ball competition Sunday Champagne 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 I flew to the rabbit's carrot patch when it was still not light thank you for so much for helping us here is here are cupcakes just for you wow that these are horrific really yummy i got to run i i have a, i have got a shop to run by bye you are thanks the new wing wild candy cake shop was a big success tonight we have so much fun working together. After we closed up our shop, we ate the leftover treats. Then Mia flew, yes, flew in on, in her, on her new wing chair. Check, her, check out my new totally awesome wings. Cannot wait for my first day of school tomorrow. We're so happy we could help. I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of all of you. And surprise, the school is going to use the money you raised tonight to buy new wind bonnets, balls, and uniforms. I brought one new ball already. Mia, catch! The, the ball flew through the air. Mia swooped, swooped to cat up to catch it. She moved faster than any than any owl I've ever seen. Well, Mia, it looks like the Treetop Elementary Wind Team has a new star player. We all cheered. This was a, such a great week, Diary. See you next time. Bye, guys.